called the, the pilot plant, which stands for precursor ISRU lunar oxygen test bed. Or an ISRU is a, a particular field which, which uh, involves trying to live off the land, become self-sustaining. Uh, it, it's called a, a in situ resource utilization. Uh, this particular uh, plant can produce oxygen uh, close to the what we would need based on our current estimates for the lunar outpost. Um, it does it with a small rover that uh, is closer to what you would buy at a Toys R Us than a, what you would need to go to a, a, a car dealership for. In particular field test, we're trying out some different technology options uh, to be able to produce uh, enough oxygen for a lunar outpost uh, to help uh, make it so we we're somewhat self-sustaining from that point of view and we don't have to send oxygen to there. And we had a uh, an idea to, to have an excavation vehicle made from that one. So we modified the vehicle uh, to have a bucket and it, it's basically models after a dustpan. So that's, that's kind of uh, a good analogy of what it looks like. And uh, we, we then modified our vehicle, took the frame out of the center, used two axles, and designed this vehicle to uh, do excavation. This vehicle is 80 kilograms. It uses um, 100 watts to drive. So uh, the old-fashioned electric light bulb that was 100 watts uh, is what is the whole power that powers a vehicle. So uh, this robot is Scarab, uh, built at Carnegie Mellon University for NASA, and it is a prototype for a robot that might transport um, a drill and chemistry plant to analyze the soil on the moon. So Scarab is has been specially configured for a one meter drill. You can see it sort of right in the middle of the vehicle there. Uh, and it transports that drill in the middle so that when the drill is in operation, all the forces and torques that the drill uh, imparts on the soil can be reacted out into the wheels. So one of the interesting things that Scarab can do is actually lower itself down to the ground, get low and stable to support that drill. Um, as a result of having that ability to change its chassis and to posture itself, we're able to climb very steep slopes. So what we've been doing here today is climbing this steep, soft material. It's about 14 to 18 degrees slope. Uh, and the vehicle can lean and posture itself, so it essentially climbs the slope by doing switchbacks, back and forth, up the hill, um, getting up uh, a grade that you, you couldn't climb uh, unless you had a very high horsepower vehicle that, of course, we can't produce for the moon.